All right, in this video, we're gonna discuss the top three lead sources for every air duct cleaning company. And I'm gonna go through and share with you the lead sources and how to set them up for your business and what they're gonna cost. And it's gonna give you a good foundation to get the ball rolling. Also, if you're an established air duct cleaning company and you're not doing one of these three, it's a great opportunity for you to build another lead source for your business. Real quick, my name is Phil Risher. I'm the owner of Flash Consulting, and we partner with local service businesses to help them increase their sales and keep their schedules full. And I actually used to be the director of sales at one of the largest air duct cleaning companies in the country, multi seven figures, helping them scale, build systems and processes in their business. And in this video, I'm going to show you some of the strategies that we utilized for them. All right, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna share my screen here. And so in our customer journey, we made videos about this before, but there's really three parts. There's visibility, conversions, and retargeting. And for air duct cleaning specifically, it's all about getting leads and getting visibility and eyeballs on the business. And so in this video, we're gonna talk about some of these different strategies and I'm gonna show you how to do them. All right, so the first one that we have is Google local service ads. So what are Google local service ads? On our Google search engine results page, which is what people search like air duct cleaning company. And I just put this in as New York, but whatever your local market is, you can put that in. And then these right here, these Google screened Google guarantees, these are your Google local service ads. And the reason that these are so important is because if you see here, if we click this, they only get charged for a lead if someone clicks this button here to call them. So it's not like Angie or Home Advisor where they farm out all your leads. It's not like you have to try to hound these people down to get them on the phone. They're literally calling you and you're just paying for this call right here. Now there's other ways that it can turn into a lead. They could fill out a form and, or they could request some information from your business, but you can turn those features off and you can just literally say, if they call this button here, then turn into a lead. You can say only run this during my open hours. You can say this, run this all the time. There's a bunch of different things, but um, the reason that this is so important is because if you see, it's the number one piece of real estate on Google and they only show three people. So in this situation, they show this company that has eight reviews, this one that has six reviews and four, four stars, and this company that has 152 and five stars. And so it's a home run uh, for businesses. Another really good benefit is, is of this is that you can set a budget of like, let's say $100 or $500 and it only spends your budget if you actually get leads. So you could set your budget at $500, but if you only get you know two leads, it's not gonna spend all your money like a traditional Google search or Yelp or Angie, where it's just blasting out your information, trying to spend all your money that they can. This is truly a pay per lead model. And how much does this actually cost? So ads.google.com slash local service ads. If you go here and you click on cost, you can actually type in your zip code here and I'll just pick one. And let's say you want uh, one lead. It's gonna show you the cost per one lead. And then you can go here and just select HVAC. For air duct cleaning on the back end, you can select the different types of services that you offer, whether it's HVAC or whatever, whatever else, air duct cleaning, dryer vent cleaning. You can go through and check the boxes. And it's gonna tell us for one lead in this zip code, it costs 25 to $38. And again, one lead is when someone literally clicks this button here to call you. It's a home run. Um, one of the companies that we work with last month, they spent $500 on leads. They got like 24 leads and it resulted in $10,000 in proposed work for them. Now, the closing percentage on these leads is we've heard anywhere from 30% up to 60%. And the reason is because it's a high intent search. These people are literally searching for this keyword. Google is recommending and guaranteeing you. And then they're calling your business because they want to know a price, want to know when you can schedule. And it's all about converting them. So that's going to be the first one that home run, you got to set that up. One of the things that we found was, was that if you're just starting out and you don't have any Google reviews, it's going to be hard to be seen on here. So we would recommend getting up to 10, 20, 30 reviews as quick as possible. And you can do this with your first couple customers, offer them some type of discount, or even friends or family that you're going to do the service for in exchange for reviews. That works really, really well to help get reviews. And we made videos about getting reviews before, but that's one of the drawbacks is that there are, it's very competitive. So if you don't have an established business or you don't have reviews, then it can be hard to get going. Now you can see this company has been in business for two years and they have 152 reviews and Google is showing them. So there are other solutions out there that, that you can get reviews in a short amount of time. Um, all right, so the next one that we have here is gonna be organic. And organic people say, well, that's not really a lead source. In fact, it is one of the best lead sources that you can utilize. And this plays again inside of, you have your ads here 
And then this right here, your Google Local Service Pack, this is organic. And if you see, out of these three companies, a consumer is going to look at, well, this company has 237 reviews and this company has 27 reviews. Which one, I, which one am I going to pick? I'm going to pick this one. So this goes back into getting reviews and why it's so important to show up in this local service pack. The other thing about organic is that it truly is the lowest hanging fruit option because it's free. And so by building a strong reputation and a good reputation for your, your air duct cleaning company, it's going to show people through your reviews that you are a good company. Then when they go to your website, they're going to say, is this a legit company or not? And then they're going to contact you and they're already going to know that, yes, this is a good company. So from an organic perspective, this is one of the best lead sources that you can utilize. It does take a longer amount of time than just turning on paying for leads. But over time, this is like a snowball that just continues to spin, spin and spin and spin. The companies that we work with, you know, they're five, ten million dollar businesses and they'll literally spend less than one percent on their ad spend because they have such a big organic traffic um, built up. They have so many reviews. They have a system in place to get reviews. They're doing all the stuff from an organic perspective to continue that snowball, which just brings in more and more business and you don't actually have to pay for the leads. It's just your online reputation that's bringing in the leads. So that's the second one. And the third one, this is a home run. And the beauty of this one, which is referrals, and I'm going to show you a strategy on how to get these referrals. The beauty of referrals is that unlike these ads here where you have to pay per lead, and unlike these ones here, which is just a normal COD person contacting you to do a dryer van or air duct cleaning company, it's very linear. One thing here, one thing here. When you can build referral partners, it's a home run because you only have to sell it one time and you'll continue to get multiple deals coming from it, and all you have to do is manage that one relationship. Unlike your one-for-one -one duct cleaning or dryer van cleaning, you're selling it to another business and getting referrals in. So some of the good referral sources are HVAC companies. A lot of times they don't want to offer duct cleaning because they want the bigger slice of the pie, and so if you can come in and, and not compete with them but be an extension of their business, it's a great way to get referrals. Property management companies, because they have big properties, they have a maybe even turnovers inside of different residencies they need to duck clean, but they also have dryer vents that need cleaned, maybe individual tenants or dryer vent spaces, and they have tons of properties that they manage. Um, the other referrals are with realtors and rest restoration companies. So like Paul Davis, you know, these bigger chains, when they have mold remediation jobs, they are going to bring in someone to do duck cleaning and put up cheesecloth and that kind of stuff. So it's a really great way to start building your referral base because then, just like your organic, it's going to continue to snowball and snowball, and you're just going to layer in more and more referrals, 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 and then you're not you're getting away from this pay per lead, pay per lead model, and all you're doing is just maintaining this relationship. So, how can you start this conversation? If you go on Google, type in HVAC company near me. All these ones up here are probably pretty credible because they're running Google local service ads. So. Um, don't call this because it's going to charge them, but go and find their phone number and contact them. And all you have to do is say, hey, do you do air duct cleaning? And they're going to tell you, oh, we partner with this company or no, we don't. And then you can say, oh, great. Well, we actually work with companies like yours because we, we do X, Y, and Z. And it's a good partnership because one of the benefits is that let's say they don't do air duct cleaning. Well, it's an opportunity for them to secure a customer in their database and a customer in their database could be a contract customer and could ultimately turn into a new system sale. And so for them, they're going to want to capture those leads and turn them into customers as quick as they can. And so let's say that they don't do it, but they do air duct cleaning and they partner with us. Well, now the customer is saying, oh, well, they do this service. And so it's a way in for this company. It's like lead gen for these companies. Not only that, but it's a really nice way to offer more services to your customers instead of farming it out to someone else that might burn the bridge or might refer them to some, someone else. So it's really, really good. So those are the top three lead sources that we found for air duct cleaning companies. If you're interested in, and you're looking for help to get this stuff set up, this is what we do is we literally partner with companies and we help them come up with strategies to grow their business. Um, I'll put a link down below. We'd love to speak with you. If not, be sure to hit like and subscribe. We post content about growing local service businesses and we'll see you in the next video.